What's going on everybody? Toby Wan Shinobi here and dang, I've got a video for you today. I'm gonna show you how I got good at Fortnite over the course of a year, 12 months. Chapter 3 Season 2 to Chapter 4 Season 2, which just so happens to be one year. And I will note that at the same time that I first started playing Fortnite, first, I was terrible at the game. Second, I had a baby boy. He is now 12 months old, one year old. Happy birthday to Ryu. And at the same time that I first started playing Fortnite Zero Build, I switched to a new input device, mouse and keyboard. I was a controller player my entire life. Uh, I don't know, 25 years of playing on a controller. I switched to mouse and keyboard. So I had a lot of stuff going on in my life, right? Didn't have very much time to play Fortnite at all, didn't have very much time to learn mouse and keyboard at all, but over the course of a year and very limited time, I was still able to put systems and methodologies in place to get pretty darn good at this game rather quickly. And I wanna share those methodologies and systems with you in hopes that it's going to improve your gameplay or give you some sort of like blueprint or path to follow to, you know, help you improve at the game faster. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that's what my channel is all about. I wanna help you guys get as good as possible, as quickly as possible at Fortnite Zero Build. And if you're new to the channel, then hi, I'm Toby Wan Shinobi and I'm here to help you, my friend. I do want to note that in the video description, this video, I'm going to just link anything that I mentioned that might be like people have questions about. I'm going to put in the video's description, whether that's software or techniques or training systems that I have videos for, or even hardware. I'm just going to put all that stuff in the video description, try to answer as many questions as possible. If you have questions, please ask me. I am happy to help you. I'd love to respond to every single comment. And if you guys like this video, if you guys like what I'm doing here, please leave a like on the video. It helps so much. All right, so let's get into the video. Uh, I'm just reversing here. I'm just going to show you this is chapter four, season two. This is like basically a month ago. Um, this is kind of the skill that I'm at now. Uh, I'm here fighting basically a squad by myself, and I'm really not too worried about it. <laughs> and these guys have hit me with like maybe 15 damage. So my movement has gotten very good. You know, my game sense has gotten very good at this point. I, this is kind of a sinister thing to do, but I'm doing it. This kind of just shows you that I'm toying with my enemy here, which let's be honest, when I first started, people were toying with me. They were having good fun with my, my body as I was crawling around on my knees. I was just trying to bait this guy out because I knew there was a fourth. So I was playing with his friend and throwing him into the gas pump, lighting him on fire to see if I could bring his friend out. And what do you know, we found him. So, um, yeah, pretty good movement throughout that whole clip there, but let's go to our humble beginnings here. This is where Toby Wan Shinobi started. I was not always so good at Fortnite, and uh, I'd love to share this with you. If you guys see this gameplay and you think that's me or this guy's better than me, don't worry about it. Everyone's got to start somewhere, right? Like I had a first person shooter background, so I was pretty well versed in first person shooters. I knew about, you know, simple things like high ground. A lot of that went out the window with Fortnite Battle Royale. I couldn't wrap my mind around the whole Battle Royale concept. I played it like an arena shooter and that did not always end well for me. I promise you that it was uh, pretty ugly. I would just run out there and die all the time thinking I'd respawn. There's no response. You go back to lobby. Took me a while to learn that. Check out my aim. Pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty awesome aim. Yeah, really good. So this is where I started, guys. And, uh, you know, here I am out in the open taking a 1v2, no cover. Uh, somehow got away with that because my teammate came and saved my life and i would be very proud of that clip i probably was because i saved it so you know that's kind of like where we started look at us running through this open field with no health and we're going to decide to push this player because you know why not i mean i think my teammate was behind me but still that's the kind of decision making and game sense that i had when i first started playing this game as well as my aim check out my aim here pretty awesome yeah good stuff man this guy wasn't even looking at me and I barely got away with my life. And here I am now out in the open, squatting around, no game sense, there's guys to my right. So this is month two now. We're getting a little bit better. Now I will say that in month two, I decided that I was gonna start aim training a little bit to get used to mouse and keyboard um, or mouse and gamepad, keypad. I use an Azron keypad, link in the description. I decided to start aim training a little bit. So my aim is getting a little bit better, but it, it wasn't great. So now we're in month three and we've done a bit of aim training. We've made it kind of like a regular thing. We probably aim train about three nights a week for about an hour at a time, which really isn't that much, but you know, it definitely helped like a huge amount. So you can see See, my aim here is going to be a lot better. Um, so, you know, basically just like a month and a half maybe of aim training has made a huge difference in my aim. Um, but I will say that my positioning and my game sense and <laughs> like is not that good. Look at me. I'm literally 1v1ing a tank in an open field. 
<laughs> so that's pretty funny. Uh, it's about as dumb as it gets. Uh, that's good. So. Yeah, that's the, this is just the gameplay. You know, this is this is where we were at. Decent aim, but look at my loadout right here too. Like I've got basically two weapons that are serving the same purpose, SMG and a pistol. And then I've got two sets of heals, no mobility, which is funny because throughout this video, like you'll see mobility items around me and I just run right past them. No shotgun either. No shotgun in the inventory, which is funny. I do have a shotgun here. So now, you know, we're getting a little bit better. At this point, I've still not been watching like any Fortnite content. I'm just basically fresh to the game. Me and my buddy and my wife are just playing it for fun when we have time, when baby's, when our baby's sleeping and uh, we're not very serious about it, but we're having a great time. Um, and as you can see here, uh, I'm using a little bit more cover here. This is good. I'm starting to use a little right shoulder peak, which if you guys haven't started learning the right shoulder peak and using basically, yeah, the right shoulder peak and using third person cameras in Fortnite, you've got to start there. It was one thing that really took my gameplay to another level is when I realized that how powerful that third person camera is, how powerful that right shoulder peak is basically because you have this whole side of your body that you can shoot from, but the enemy can't really see if they're on the opposite side because they've got a left shoulder and they can't really shoot their gun their gun just hits a wall super important thing to learn which i took for granted and um yeah it, it helps a lot guys now notice that i am not swapping my weapons here oh we did we swapped nice nice again i'm just i'm leaving this pump shotgun out and shooting as slow as possible i did get a shot off with one bullet of an ar there which was cool we're in month four and we've been doing a good amount of aim training on top of that we now started watching tifu videos whenever the baby was whenever we're feeding them or the baby's asleep we're eating dinner i'm watching tifu my me and my wife are actually watching tifu we we both enjoyed it quite a bit just trying to you know learn the game a bit get better and i started uh working a little bit of his moves into my gameplay ah uh -huh, see Easy, yeah, yeah, a little shot mantle right there. Nice mantle juke right there. The the first mantle juke Toby wanted to know he ever did, maybe. Uh, but either way, you know, like not great gameplay. There's so many better ways to play this, probably. And I'm using like this shotgun, right? That does like 50 damage a shot but like i could have gotten some other angle here like this is a pretty risky play but whatever i was really stoked on this and you should be too if you ever hit a clip like this and you've got this skill level that's awesome anytime you overcome the odds you should be proud of yourself never you know be like oh it wasn't as good as it could have been it doesn't matter you're improving it's all about improvement right still month four and uh our aim now is improving quite a bit. This is a little bit later in the month. Still aim training on a pretty regular basis, watching those Tifu videos, getting a little more serious about the game. Our aim, we're hitting our shots. This is good. Uh, hey, we're learning how to use mobility items. Nice. You know how I'm always saying like mobility is everything in 490 build. It can like turn plays around. I'm, uh, you know, this is like kind of where I started learning that. And I'm using pretty good uh, movement here, pretty good moves. You know, my positioning and game sense isn't the greatest. Like I probably could have handled this a different way, but whatever. Like we're kind of out in the open. These guys could both melt us if they weren't like caught on a reload or whatever they're doing, or we're just better players. <laughs> it's just not that great of a move, to be honest. I got away with it because these guys weren't gods. These guys should have melted me, but whatever. I'm still, you know, I was stoked on this clip, felt like a god and uh, you know, it's cool. It's cool. We were using good movement, good jukes, and I was proud of that at the time. So here we are, month five. This is a very pivotal month for me because this is the month that I decided that I wanted to get very good at the game. I wanted to become serious, take the deep dive, become a student of the game. So what I did here is I basically started analyzing my own gameplay and I created a journal. And I talk about this in my how to improve at any game three times as fast video. If you haven't watched it, link is in the description. But basically, I created a journal of basically all of my weaknesses in the game. Basically, I'd analyze my gameplay, put it in slow motion, check out what I'm doing in fights, how I'm dying. And then I'd write that down and just keep jotting down all my issues. And then I'd find the most common issue that's leading to the most deaths. And then I would decide, OK, I need to work on that. And then I would come up with a plan of how I would improve at that uh, skill or how I would train that skill. And that is an extreme 
extremely effective way to improve. If you guys have not watched my how to improve at any game three times as fast, I recommend it. I go into great detail of basically that system. So yeah, I've taken the deep dive at this point. I'm really analyzing my gameplay. I know where my weaknesses are, and I've decided at this point that I'm going to work on positioning and cover. So that's kind of like, if I recall, positioning and cover was in my journal when I looked at it. So I'm trying to improve at that. My aim has also gotten pretty good because I've been aim training quite a bit on a, a fairly regular basis. So you can see here, I'm taking this tight corner. You know, I know that maybe there's a guy over there to the right. So I'm going to hold this corner tight. We go ahead, I think, and make another up. Oh, look at that. Right to cover, right shoulder peak. We're going to pop out, get back to cover. Nice. This guy's behind us. So I'm going to Go forward, ooh, nice little slide, little jump over his head. That's starting to look a little familiar. <laughs> if you guys have seen my movement video, I call it the uh, leapfrog. But uh, hey, that's a decent play. Let's go back, we'll play that at full speed. All right. Nice. Nice, yeah. So as you can see, like my movement is a lot better. I was using those right shoulder peaks. So clearly I've been like analyzing. I realized in my analysis was that I just was not in cover very often, which was really killing me. And again, we are aim training. So now our aim is getting pretty good here. This is not the best team, but um, a little slide out of the way. Nice. Got a little movement. Oh, we're using mobility items. We stay high ground here. We're cutting angles. They can't see us when they're down there. We can jump up and hit them. Good stuff. All right. Mm. Clearly it's working a little bit. Okay, we got a three on one right here. We are not doing the best. We probably should have gotten to that cover right away, but you know, we're learning. We're still, uh, I don't know what that guy's doing. <laughs> that's, that's helpful that he stood still for us. And yeah, and then my wife comes in and cleans up, helps me out, I probably would have died, but you know, we're getting better. All right, so now we're in month six. And the biggest thing about this month is I started actually doing like in-game training. And I was using the Coney Crossroads deathmatch map made by Pixelated Dreams in collaboration with Zemi and Tifu. I was basically warming up and just training in that all the time. So I was getting a lot of combat experience. As before, I did not do a lot of like deathmatch stuff. I was just jumping into Battle Royale and expecting to kind of like get good at the game over time. But what you don't realize about just playing BR all the time is that you're really running around and and looting and looking for enemies, like 90% of the game, maybe 80% of the game, maybe 20% you're in combat. So you're just not getting a lot of exposure to combat. Whereas in deathmatch, you're fighting people all the time and you're getting like 10 times the amount of practice, maybe even like 50 times the amount of practice during deathmatch um, as you would a just a normal BR game. So that really helped me here. I'm getting better with my positioning, my movement. I've been aim training for about two and a half months at this point and my aim's getting solid. My movement's getting pretty good. My positioning is getting better. My game sense is still a little bit lacking, but um, you can definitely see an improvement in my overall gameplay here. Uh, I'm fighting like three guys right now. Uh, maybe it's two different teams, um, but see like I'm sliding in on this guy, finishing him before he can heal up, uh, get to cover. You know, we're going to reload our weapon. We're playing this cover nice. We're keeping pressure on this guy. We're, oh, we're going right shoulder peak instead of left. Nice. So again, that right shoulder advantage, one of the things you got to learn as a beginner. Going to heal up mid fight. Nice. Make him push us. Good move. Good move, Toby Wan. Very nice. Okay, we're learning. So yeah, we're, we're wiping teams over here. Oh, we got a little duck in our strafe. Nice. All right. So yeah, a lot of that uh, death match has really helped us out here. Our movement's a lot better. Our, you know, cover plays are a lot better. Our aim is a lot better. Um, so yeah, we're really progressing now. And that journal is still going. We're analyzing our own gameplay, picking out the common mistakes that we're making. And then we're really working on that stuff when we play deathmatch. But we're not quite there with like game sense and positioning and rotations and that sort of stuff. But mechanics comes first. You got to get your combat mechanics before you can be comfortable enough to be thinking about game sense, rotations and all that stuff. So you kind of got to master your mechanics first before where you can kind of get to that more high level stuff of game sense. All right, so now we're in month seven. And what you'll notice here is that kind of my confidence overall has just like increased a lot. I'm like, you know, being a lot more aggressive, just being a lot more like confident in my own gameplay. My aim training has gotten to a point now that I'm basically as good as I was on controller on the mouse. So maybe even better, but probably about the same as I was on controller. I was very good on a controller before. So now I'm kind of up to par in the aim category. And now my movement is getting pretty good. I'm starting to utilize mobility items and you know more movement tactics uh you know we're playing a bush play right here holding this guy and now we're gonna start shooting the pillar out which is great we're putting some pressure on him my teammate's gonna move across i pull out the snipe hit him quick because i knew i had to reload so yeah we're becoming a little more aware of like our equipment 
managing our inventory. This guy comes down here. We're going to keep holding that right shoulder peak, hit him while he's looking at my teammate. So, you know, overall pretty good place. And then we're going to go ahead, heal up my wife. And then we're going to move up the hill here. And this is like one of my favorite clips in my early days. This is one of my proudest moments right here. So my teammate goes down, uh, my, my other teammates like trying to heal her and we've got a, a trio somewhere around. I found this guy in the bush before he did anything. And now I'm going to start putting shots on him. <laughs> did he just throw a chug splash at my teammate? That's funny. That shows the kind of the quality of the players. But anyways, I'm really proud of this still. Uh, so my other teammate goes down. So now it's me versus uh, these two other guys. I just knocked one. And uh, so you see here right there, that was good like rotation, right? So I knocked one and then I knew I needed to move because we're going to I was going to get pushed. So I slid out here and then I try to get a flank angle really quick while he's finishing my teammate. Boom. Nice shot. And then we go right in for the third guy. We don't give him much time to think at all. We don't want him resin his friend. I know that he was in this bush. So the first place I go is this bush. Um, so as you can see, my game sense is developing a little bit more. So at this point, I've kind of learned like what the enemy is going to try to do in most situations, especially when a teammate's down. And uh, yeah, we clutch it up. So that was a pretty great play. You know, we uh, basically wiped a trio by ourselves. Our confidence is high. We're using mobility. We're using good cover. Um, so yeah, this is another instance where I'm just kind of like using good cover there, little tiny peak shots. And then we move over here. And this is where I start implementing, I think, uh, mantle jukes. Yeah. So like, my gameplay doesn't look as scared and I'm not like hiding behind stuff. I'm putting pressure on enemies and I'm using pretty good cover here. These guys are down below me. I've got that nice wall blocking me. This guy jumps up. I'm going down. Now I've got low ground, but he's not in good cover because I can just jump up and uh, hit him in the head if he peeks. And we're going to use that. Now his friend jumps up here. We're going to go down. He's jumping down and I'm going to hit him with a little mantle juke. Yeah, nice. Get the headshot. So, you know, our movement's increasing quite a bit. Just our overall gameplay is just getting pretty crisp at this point. So we're seven months in now, right? For seven months going from where I started, that's pretty darn good. And that's just all due to analyzing my own gameplay, doing aim training, and then also doing deathmatch warmups. Um, that's pretty much all it from from here on out and then just watching like a lot of tifu and watching content creators and just learning from them um but yeah that's where this stuff is coming from and that's kind of like where the confidence comes from as well my combat confidence is pretty high at this point all right now we're in month eight i remember this month i built my first sniper training map i really got into sniping i wanted to learn how to use the sniper because it's a projectile weapon and i was not used to that i was playing with hit scan weapons pretty much my whole life and i had to learn how to use a projectile sniper rifle so i built my own creative map and i have a link to the video of how to build your own creative map i also will link to my sniper video as well Basically, I was just really focused on improving my long range aim and my sniping skills. And I also will say that at this point, I was learning how to weapon swap really effectively. In the past, I was using a lot of auto shotguns. You may have noticed I wasn't very good at weapon swapping. So finally, I like made this practice map and I was able to actually like just be in the practice map and learn weapon swapping effectively against bots that I uh, was fighting that I had made. Uh, so here you see me hitting two pretty good snipes in a row. Going to be pulling out our sniper rifle. Our teammate is down and get a nice headshot. So that was clean. So yeah, nice lead on him and then insta swap to the hammer AR and finish him. It's a pretty good move. And then little peek out, pop that guy in the head. Nice move. And so yeah, our overall long range aim is getting a lot better as well. That's pretty good tracking right there. Uh, and now we're also using mobility items, not as effectively maybe as we could have, but hey, we get a shot from the air, land behind this dude, and boom. So that's a nice play. That's month eight. Eight months, and that's where we're at now, which I say is pretty darn good. I'm proud of that. All right, and here we are, month nine. And this month, basically, I'd say that my aim is now above my normal skill on controller. So I think that my aim is actually better on mouse and keyboard or mouse and keypad, as are on keypad, I'll link in the description, better on a mouse than I was on controller. And again, I played controller for like 25 years of my life. Uh, so I'm very confident at long range now, and I really feel like I beat like about 95% of players in long range fights and now I am actually working on my shotgun and close range fighting so at this point I remember I built the shotgun training map which I have a shotgun training routine link in the description 
and uh, my long range basically was it was great. And now I needed to work on close range because I was still finding that I would lose a lot of 1v1s at close range. Um, I just wasn't like playing that smart. I wasn't always getting a good advantage in the fight and um, I needed to work on that. So here we are. I think we're like, <laughs> we're fighting a lot of guys here. Nice little weapon swap there. So you can see our weapon swap. Like we're just basically pretty darn confident in most fights, but um, we still have a lot of room for improvement. Like our mobility, our movement isn't that good. Like our aim's fine, but like, you know, we're kind of in a tough, a tough spot here, but um, yeah, there's not much I could do here except for just shoot my gun at people, <laughs> but somehow get away with it. Uh, but yeah, so the aim was good, you know, like our aim is solid, but like our position, like we probably shouldn't have been in that spot in the first place, but we didn't have any mobility on us. But uh, yeah, and so now we're in month 10. Basically, I would just say that like my my movement's getting a little bit better. It's still not very good, uh, but I'm learning to use mobility items much more effectively and I'm learning when to make a good push. Like, I, you know, I just cracked this guy. There's two guys up there. We've got them both marked. Uh, I cracked one and I learned how to push well. And I'm also, my game sense is improving a little bit. Like, I know that I don't want this guy to heal. I'm gonna push on him quick. My teammates still watch me from across the way if need be. My game sense is now improving because all of my mechanics, my combat mechanics have reached a certain level now that like my game sense is starting to kick in where I'm just like kind of making that my focus because you know, my other skills have developed enough that I feel comfortable in fights. One thing that I'll say is that if you don't have good combat mechanics, then it's really hard to have good game sense because you're always going to be like stressed out in the heat of the moment because you're not going to feel comfortable that you can't be thinking about the guy that's coming around the corner or where that guy is that you knocked just 10 seconds ago. You know, you're not thinking about those things. You're thinking about trying to survive. So if you feel like you're stressed in combat, then you probably don't have good game sense in combat. And the way to improve that is just just through deathmatch. Just getting very comfortable in combat, getting your mechanics very tight so that you can think about these things during combat and that you're not stressed out during combat. Pretty much the best way to overcome like combat anxiety is just to, you know, practice more combat. So uh, yeah, I'm becoming very comfortable in most fights. Um, still not great, the 1v1, you know, still not great at always finding advantage, but like, you know, I'm a very aggressive player now. Um, and I hit my shots generally. All right, so now we're in month 11, and I remember this month very well because this is actually, I think, when I started streaming. I think I started streaming a little bit before this, but this is when I started like getting a little bit more viewers in my stream, and I remember being pretty uncomfortable with the fact that I kept losing 1v1s when I really shouldn't have. Like, I'll have an advantage, right, and I'll get beat. Again, you know, playing kind of sweaty players, but still, like, I was making kind of stupid decisions for the sake of, like, entertainment. I was just trying to be aggressive and, like, fight everyone and like go as fast as I could. And what that resulted in is me dying all the time. Um, and so what I learned is that I need to slow down a lot of times and let the enemy make a mistake. And I also need to find an advantage during a fight. So I got very good at like slowing down the gameplay, finding an advantage in the fight, getting that advantage and then proceeding with the fight. So that was something that I really started to learn and like basically just taking less damage in fights. I think the season or at least the month that I really started like kind of making that a focus, like take less damage in a fight because if you take less damage you're gonna win more fights and you're gonna survive more third parties so just try to take as little damage as possible so again we have high ground this player is not looking at us um and we're doing nice weapon swaps there let's just play this clip again because i thought it was pretty clean looking at this guy across the canyon and uh missing our shots but then we see some footsteps you know sprint jump dodge that shot and one pump and then one shot with the uh the dualies there that was yeah that was a good play this person's mark coming up the hill this was a great uh heisted the heisted event was awesome super fun the team heat thing was super fun but as you can see here i found a rat and uh i'm just gonna back up in the past i may have just come all the way around this corner and just fought this guy out in the open but instead i'm gonna back out to the right shoulder peak and get a little bit of cover and that's gonna win me the game i mean not a great example of like playing more smart but like a little bit like i'm not like just alphaing up and like saying oh who has the better aim no i got like a small advantage right there i recognize that there's an advantage if i backed out right there this guy's gonna push me and now i'm gonna find a new advantage which is high ground and a right shoulder peak which is you know something i'm going to keep repeating throughout a lot of my videos is high ground right, right shoulder peaks uh, i think if you are struggling in combat that is basically a great place to start high ground 
right shoulder peaks. All right, and now we're getting pushed by another guy. Uh, look, I'm playing slow. This is something I never would have done before. I probably would have seen footsteps and like instantly got up on top of the structure and put shots on them or like put myself in kind of a bad situation. I kind of want to let this guy make the play on me. I want to let him push on me and, uh, you know, take the advantage. So I get high ground, act like I'm running away, drop down for a quick nice 100 and this guy's only done 36 damage to me so i've done a pretty good job already of not taking damage now i'm going to pressure him by opening up this wall to the left give him pretty much no option to get away and then i'm going to go right right here pop him now we're back into cover and we finish off so this is what i'm talking about like i'm slowing down the fight i'm not just pushing in there finding out who has the better aim or the better internet connection which was something that i was doing a lot if i'm being honest i just wanted to fight everyone i felt like i had really good aim i could win fights but really i couldn't <laughs> i'd miss a shot and I'd get smoked, especially by controller players with aim assist. All right, so now we're in month 12. And what I can say about month 12 is that I wasn't really doing any real training, but I was developing my own play style, meaning I was trying and experimenting different things that I hadn't seen other people do. Coming up with my own ideas, like, oh, I had this idea of throwing a chug splash across a room when I was in this like building or something. I just like had this thought come to my head, like, what if you could throw a chug splash, make someone think you're across the room, and then they run after you, think you're, you're healing over there, and then you shoot him in the back. Well, I was like, oh, this is a nice uh, time to try that. So a little shinobi tactic right here. Throw a chug splash. Oh, he takes the bait hard, so hard. And then we hit him with a 250 to the dome. <laughs> that was a clean play. I love that play. Uh, I was just proud of that because that was kind of like, you know, my own creative thought right there. And I was like, yeah, dude, yeah, dude, we can do stuff. I'm no longer aim training at this point because I must say that my long range aim has gotten very good. Could definitely improve, always can. But my long range aim is very good, very confident in long range, pretty darn confident in close range too because now I've done all that shotgun training. Now I'm just doing kind of quick warm ups before I play, which I always recommend. And the warm ups that I'm doing at this point is the red versus blue death match. Map code for the red versus blue death match is in the description below. I will also say at this point, I was actually experimenting and starting to play solos versus squads or solos versus duos. This is not solos versus duos, but uh, my teammate is down. And as you can see, my aim is pretty darn good there. Basically just aim bot of that dude. And I'm just like confident in my fights at this point. Like, uh, and I play them pretty well. Could still always improve, you know? My movement is still not that good. Like I'm not pulling any crazy movement jukes. And it's funny, we're 12 months in and I've only been playing Fortnite for 13 or 14 months. My movement is not that good. And I made an advanced movement video. So that's weird, right? We'll get to that in a second. But yeah, I'm just a lot more confident. I'm playing solos versus squads. I'm playing solos versus duos. I'm doing stuff like this. I'm just taking risks, having fun. Um, and I'm just like a lot more confident with my gameplay. And I'm also loving the sword loving like high ground retakes and just like the mobility it provides and kind of learning how to play uh, with mobility a little bit more you know just becoming a little more of a utility type of player like I'll use portal bunkers and mobility items a lot more than I would in the past I mean I was doing a lot in chapter 4 season 1 but I think I'm a lot more effective with them now and that pretty much brings us to today I mean right before chapter 4 season 3 arrived this is the end of chapter 4 season 2 at this point, my aim is very good. Uh, I would still say that I have pretty much about the same skill. I would still probably be able to hit Unreal rank, um, you know, during this gameplay just a, a little bit ago. But I will say there was one huge thing missing from my skill set. And uh, let me just let this play out. This is a beautiful play right here. It's one of my favorites. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite plays of all time, if I'm being honest. I just, I think this really shows like level of game sense that I've developed over the, the course of time. Like I see two footsteps, right? I see this chick, we knock her, but I know, oh, there's two more footsteps. So I know that under this barn roof is other players and I'm getting shot. So I need to open up the ceiling and get down there and maybe I can get the drop on one of them. And boom, we got the their back. We flip around because we know. Boom, another player there. I love that play. I think it shows good game sense, good aim, decent positioning. But yeah, that's kind of like how I developed, right? Like I wouldn't even be dreaming of making that play <laughs> when I first started. So I think it's a, it's a funny uh, comparison, right? All right, and now let's talk about what I've developed recently, which was the big missing piece of my gameplay. And that is combat movement. I mean, honestly, my movement was not very good just a month ago, but basically over the course of three or four weeks, I decided that I need to learn movement because I was watching like Tifu and Zemi and all these guys, you know, their movement is so good. And I was analyzing my gameplay and I was like, my movement's just not 
there yet. So I went on YouTube and I started searching around like for Fortnite zero build movement guides. There just really wasn't anything that was gonna satisfy my needs there. And I decided like, dang, maybe I should make the video. Maybe I need to learn movement and then I'll make the video and share it with my viewers. So that's what I set out to do. And dang, dude, I, I learned <laughs> combat movement very quickly. And that's great because you can too. It took me like literally maybe two, three weeks to reach a level of movement that was like far superior to what I had before. And the way that I did that, I mean, you can see that I'm like, I'm moving very well in these fights, um, much better than I ever was. Like this is the thing that I was focusing on at this time after analyzing my gameplay. So I was really working on my movement at this point. And the way that I did it, was through deathmatch maps, particularly red versus blue deathmatch, link in the description below. And uh, yeah, just basically grinding in deathmatch, but focusing on movement the entire time. And a lot of movement was just figuring out how to line up shots and hit shots while you're still moving. That was like one of the hardest things. And what I realized is that, I probably said this many times, but I'll say it again. You're not swinging onto your enemy and trying to hit them with a flick shot during movement. You are trying to line up your crosshair during fast movement and hit your enemy when your crosshair crosses them. So don't be trying to flick shot all crazy. Just let that crosshair line up on your enemy and pull the trigger. You know, you don't want to be doing crazy flick movements because you're just going to end up missing a lot of shots that way. And that's kind of what I learned a lot and then basically I was just grinding like just trying to like always be sliding always be mantling always be sprint jumping kind of just pulling nasty tricks on people all the time that's what I did for like three hours a day for like a week I don't even know if it was that much actually to be honest it didn't feel like it was that much work to, to learn good movement I had okay movement like I knew the fundamentals right because I'd watched so much Tifu and stuff so I knew what to do but I just wasn't implementing it into my combat as often as I'd like. So I set out to do that. And again, when you set your mind to learning a certain skill and training that skill, you'll develop that skill so quick, so much faster than if you would have just like let it naturally build when you just focus on a single skill. And a good metaphor for this is professional NBA players do not go out to practice and just play 5v5 basketball for four hours straight at practice. No, what they do is like probably 50% of the time they're doing shooting drills, doing dribbling drills, you know, they're focusing on particular skills because that's going to improve that skill much faster than if they were just to play five on five and you know like get the ball every 30 seconds or one minute or so and get to dribble it around for 20 seconds before passing it you know like you got to train these skills one at a time and you got to put a lot of focus in how you're training that skill to develop it quickly and i'll leave you with that that's probably one of the biggest takeaways and that is really what my how to improve at any game three times as fast focuses on that as well as like analyzing your gameplay getting that journal and like kind of mentality stuff so yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope this was helpful if it was please give it a like helps my channel so much. If you're new here and you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. And if you want some more value, check out my must watch playlist on my channel page. I promise I've got a lot more for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a good day. Shinobi out.